It is Weird News Wednesdays. Yeah, I know, it's Thursday. <laughs> Fail. I was actually doing big girl things yesterday, and, uh, you know, real life has to come first sometimes, so Weird News is going to be on Thursday for today. Uh, but next week, it continues on Wednesday, of course, unless something else comes up. Also, Chaos Mode, super addictive. I was playing like an hour of this before I had to commentate for this video. I was, I didn't want to stop, but this is my best gameplay from that hour. And, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to getting a lot better at this. So, yeah, if you guys haven't played this yet, just go online, download the update, and play it. Because it is super fun. Now, to weird news. A mother bear and her three cubs broke into a cabin, a Norwegian cabin, recently, and like any good, just kidding, like any terrible alcoholic mother, the mother bear and her three cubs downed 100 cans of beer. That's actually really, really impressive. Uh, they also proceeded to eat everything in the cabin. You know, you get a little drunk, you want to eat all the food in the house, you know? These bears are just <laughs> doing what people do, what bears do all day. So, I really like that story. I just, like, pictured this mom and her cute little bear cubs, and they getting crunk. A Chinese woman who was very angry that police were not doing anything about the people speeding in her town has taken her own measures. Now what measures are these, you may say? To slow down traffic? She bought a blow-up doll <laughs> dressed it in scantily clad clothing, such as lingerie, and you know what? It worked. I like this woman. I like her a lot. If I lived in China, this would be my best friend because I really like her ability to think outside the box and just use something that wouldn't normally be used for that. That's smart. That is extremely smart. You know what? We should use blow up dolls for a lot more things than what they're used for now. And slowing down traffic is one of them. They should be at all construction sites. Like, <laughs> the construction workers could use them uh, in their free time, but could also have them there to slow down traffic. I like this idea, and I'm sure a lot of construction workers may like that idea, but you know, that's just me. Do you wish you could use the force that you could wield a lightsaber like nobody's business? Because guess what guys, in San Francisco you can take a Jedi training course. This is a, you know what, that's a really cool idea. I like this story um, just because, you know what, even though, you know, it's fake and, you know, some people might find it silly. It's a good idea, like, come on, there's tons of Star Wars fans that would eat that up. Now in forever alone news, because we always have some stories that involve people who are forever alone. A man was, well, he pled guilty. Obviously he was caught or, you know, maybe just went out and told everyone what he did. He has pled guilty to breaking into a farm and performing oral sex on a horse. Nay. No, <laughs> like, oh God. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to picture it. I don't want to think about it. We're just going to leave that story at that. That's that's the story. It's weird. It's forever alone. Next story. Two conjoined twins who have one human body and then obviously they have two heads um, coming out of two necks. So one of them, I would assume, controls the body. Uh, and then the other one's just like, I, I don't want to call her just a head, but... You know, she has her own personality and everything. They are getting their own reality show. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of curious to watch. I know I've seen these two girls on a reality show. Well, not a reality show. It was like a documentary a long time ago. Um, but I think a reality show would actually be really interesting to see. And, you know, obviously I put this in weird news because it, it's, it's beyond the ordinary. You know, obviously I'm not calling them weird. They can't help that they were born like that. But it's something I'm really interested in. Do you, will you guys tune in to watch this? Uh, it's going to be on TLC. And I don't have cable. <laughs> Shit! I didn't think this through. Uh, I think I'll just, you know, st steal my parents' cable. You know, whatever. They don't mind. They're my parents. They let me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Are you guys going to tune in? I'm, I'm going to try and catch that if I can. Uh, looks, It looks really interesting. Now this next story I'm warning you is a little bit graphic um, in a gross, really gross way. So it involves a spider and I know that some people are like deathly afraid of spiders. So I am warning you now. I am going to put the picture in here. But if you have a squeamish stomach or you know just grossed out by spiders, don't 
continue the video. Just stop it now. Stop it now. Um, I'll wait to put the picture till the very end of the story. So, you know, you guys have ample time to stop the video before you see the picture if you don't want to. A woman, I think, I believe she's Chinese. Uh, I could be wrong. It, it was in some Asian country. I can't particularly remember it, which one. It doesn't really matter. She woke up with itching in her ear, ear very badly. So she went to the doctor where they, uh, you know, did an x-ray on her ear and discovered a spider. And I'm putting the picture now. Is that not the most gross thing that just makes you cringe and grab your ears? That is so horrifying like oh most disgusting story I've, I've read yet of course there's like disgusting as in that's you know how could they do that like bad mothers stuff like that um, but this is like the yucky gross kind of feeling that you get in in terms of worst story ever like oh god I I do not want to see any bugs right now I'm not sure I even ever want to go to sleep again I don't want that to happen to me that is a big spider oh god guys Ugh. this is actually uh <laughs> the video is about to end the gameplay is about to end i hope you guys enjoyed the weird news i hope none of you have bugs in your ears um it happens from time to time bugs will try to go in there to kind of get you know warm and out of moisture but whatever just beware uh, it doesn't happen that often so uh don't worry, you'll be okay. And I hope all of you have a great day. And if you want to check out last week's weird news, go ahead and click the screen. Bye, guys.